things are possible with vision, hard work, and collaboration. The act of building the Transcontinental Railroad was transformational. A celebration of progress and achievement in the crossroads of the West. Thousands of people from around the world gathered at the Golden Spike National Historical Park in rural Promontory, Utah to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad. The ability to move people and goods across the continent at much reduced time and lower cost led to explosive economic growth. This celebration is a time for us to remember and honor what they accomplished. Joining dignitaries and government officials, Russell M. Nelson, president of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We are honored and blessed to be able to gather at this historic spot to commemorate the gargantuan accomplishment and the people who made it possible. President Nelson paid tribute to all those who contributed to this moment in history. The thousands of Chinese and Irish immigrants, the newly freed slaves from the southern states, the veterans who had fought so recently in the Civil War, the members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints who were trying to settle in this harsh land, the Native Americans whose land was forever altered, and the many immigrants from Italy, Germany, and other places that came together to build this railroad that crossed our vast country. He also brought with him a piece of Latter-day Saint history, connecting early church members with the railroad. This iron spike is engraved with these words, holiness to the Lord. These words honor and thank our Lord who watched over his people as they completed the link to the nation's new train system. The festivities continued in Salt Lake City with the O.C. Tanner Gift of Music concert. Broadway stars Brian Stokes Mitchell and Megan Hilty joined the Tabernacle Choir at Temple Square and the Utah Symphony, paying tribute to the past and looking ahead to the future. Amen.